I get this call about a month and a half ago from work. I work for the lottery. I'm in charge of all the slot machines for the entire East Coast. It's a pretty cool job. Anyway, they're like, John, you're moving to head office in Moncton. And I couldn't believe it. I mean, I don't want to move to Moncton. Who wants to move to Moncton, for God's sakes? It's Moncton. So I got on the phone, and I called those bastards up in head office, and I gave them a piece of my mind. <laughs> yes, no, 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 absolutely. It's, no, I, I've always wanted to move. It was paced so well. Not only was the writing good, and, um, you know, the actors were great. I mean, the lead, the pacing. I mean, you can watch so many of these pieces that are submitted to the festival and they can have great writing The the buildup can be there. But if the, if, if the timing is not down, it, it ruins it. And Oh my gosh, you do such a great job. The looking at the camera, you know, adding, adding music at the right time. It keeps the pace moving. Um, it's not distracting at all. It's such a funny situation and it's relatable. Like when he's moving and he's asked how much he can lift and he was like, well, I don't like to brag. Like that's so funny. It's so relatable and it's something out of the box and not super extravagant, but that's, that's what makes it so funny. This was my, it's, it was my favorite. It's so good. It was so smartly written and well acted and it's such a simple concept and you made it relatable and funny. And that's just amazing. I wish there was more. I That's my biggest complaint. I wish there was more. Just very, very well done. Uh, I loved this main character. He was fantastic. I loved his personality and how he was just forever convincing himself that the decisions that are being made for him are okay and they're right with him. And he just can never make a decision for himself and stand up for himself um but he just he's so sweet and so kind-hearted that you just can't help but really sympathize with him and um yeah so just like very watchable I love the breaking the fourth wall and like looking at the camera and those those you know little uh those little buttons that we see and uh, that woman, the Mrs. Downstairs, like you just know that she's going to be trouble. And um, yeah, I just, I, I wish that it was almost longer because I want to know more about this new adventure. I felt like he started this whole new life and is starting this new chapter. And I want to see what else happens, uh, which is always a good sign of a film where we want to see more. So um, really great job. Also, shout out to just the cinematography. Stunning. Um, just those overhead drone shots that the, the coloring was really um, bright and lush and green and, and open air. It just ugh, must have been a dream to shoot. I love the uh, performance by the, the uh, lead guy. Um, just uh, the way everything just kept changing and he's just trying to ride the wave. I uh, love that uh, style of uh, direct to camera address kind of faux documentary thing. Pulled it off really well. And uh, what can I say about uh, Mary Welsh? It's just brilliant performance. Um, yeah, it was just uh, well written, well put together. Uh, I just wanted it to be longer. I'm hoping that uh, this uh, is like a like a series of short films. What's next with uh, this guy and uh, the Mrs. Downstairs? Uh, yeah, very enjoyable. I had uh, enjoyed the whole thing. I really like this protagonist. He was he was really funny. I could totally see him like being in the office or like a sitcom that breaks the you know the fourth wall and talks to the camera um he he was funny he he held my attention i uh i like this concept a lot kind of like you know a character getting offered a new job position that requires them to move move maybe to a place they don't really want to move to but kind of like and then like following that character on that journey i think that's pretty clever and you don't see that Maybe done too many times, maybe in like detective stuff you do or like more like trial and, and uh, court court genres. You see that stuff. But like in terms of like, you know, normal middle class jobs, I feel like that could be a cool theme to see uh, like a character's journey um, in that case. And 
I think this would almost make a good mini series. I thought it was funny for sure. I love how Dave's character does lots of commenting to the camera and how he puts on a good positive face when things go wrong, but then you see the truth in other shots, like the crying into his ice cream scene. Amazing footage of the ocean and countryside of the East Coast. And of course, Mary Walsh is so funny. This one I could definitely see being like a TV series or a mini series. It was just that it was shot really well. The acting was superb. Um, I think it was a fun premise to just like dive into. When it was over, I really wanted more. And like, I wanted to see and really invest myself into these characters and see how it, like, it's all going to turn out with the missus downstairs. It was very insane. The writing was well done. The acting was great, and I enjoyed this film. Now, this is the story of an everyman who keeps finding himself in strange situations and reacts to them with inner defiance and outward obes obeisance. So he gets transferred to Moncton, which is a uh, city in New Brunswick. So the actual filming of this uh, short is in Newfoundland and uh, finds out that the person living beneath him is a smoking old lady of whom the landlord never warned him. So this is the story of his travails. Uh, this is in a deep vein of maritime humor, I have the feeling. So enjoy it. <laughs> 